but they should still again just to give me that opportunity to have a different um, application there from there. So yes, you can use the bit if there's space allowed. Just because a cancer says that the range is that long doesn't mean that you have to apply it at that range. You've got all this space in between where we can hit something. That's quite important, isn't it? So what happens if we now talk about taking this on the inside? So if we come from the outside, then sometimes we're going to be on the inside. So what I want is to get to that head before that second hand can start to come out. Yeah? So the bang from here, and then we've got here. Then we've got boom, here. Then we've got boom, here. Then we've got boom, here. Yeah. So we're going to do that again. Okay. We're going to pop here. So back to this softness here. I want to go bang. This is potentially a finisher, to be honest, once we get from here. Doesn't matter if it's not. We've got that pressing. We're going to come up, bang, in here. We're going to step down. I've got the foot, brilliant. Okay, I'm not going to be mean like that, so I'm going to step off. And then I'm just going to get that rolling around. As we see here, the time we back up. If we take that into account, when we look at applications, we should be able to see the structure of the kata. That doesn't mean it has to be identical to the way we perform the kata. Kata cannot take into account variables that partner-based training can. And that's why you have to do partner-based training as well as performing the kata. If you understand the application, then the kata will always make more sense to you. You'll remember it better and you'll be able to flush it out. Okay? But if you're just trying to remember sequences that have no function, it's a really tough thing to the kata. Okay? If you don't understand principles, then the kata is not that difficult. Not really. You know, I'm talking to people who have good movement here. Everyone's been doing arts art for a long time, so that's, that's a good point. But remember we said earlier on, you must stay within the frame. If you go outside the frame, there's no point in taking your weapons away from the fight. Everything has to stay. So if the kata looks too blown out, it's probably because it is. You've got to lay it in a little bit. Okay. We'll try that.